Hey, I'm Lisa, and this is my mama, Jackie. We are here today. We're going to do a DIY of some wax melts. So, a couple of things first off. Um, for your Scentsy burners, if they have a warranty, this may negate the warranty. Um, I don't know. Mine came from Walmart, so there was no warranty involved. But, um, apparently, if you have a good brand, that can... Um, negate the warranty so also the oils of course aren't necessarily supposed to be used warm but we've used this for people in our family that love their scentsies and they love their candles and this is kind of a good stepping stone into a more natural way and ultimately the candles they burn and the scentsies that they use it's not um for health benefits anyways it's just for smell and this smells good so we love this just as a quick easy gift for people in our families or friends that we meet whatever the case may be so we think this is a great idea maybe a good stocking stuffer or like office Christmas party type thing um, anything else I'm forgetting before we get started okay <laughs> okay so today I just went to Michael's and got the Art Minds, I'm sure it's something fancy, um, Wax Chunk Mold. And so three of these came in a pack. I've got one here that's oh, not dry enough to lift up just yet. Um, and then we've got the two just other clear ones. We're going to make one of them. And then I got the um, Microwavable Soy Wax, again, just from Michaels. So all together, this was, um, I think, $17.00. And this is how much wax flakes I have left. So I can make, the only thing I'll have to buy more of are these little things to be able to make a ton more. So the wax itself, they're just flakes. It's like a, like if you shaved a bar of soap. Where's the camera? There it is. If you shaved a bar of soap, it's just little flakes of it. And so um, what I did, this little cup here is one third of a cup. I did one and a half scoops of this and it filled it perfectly. So um, I've already got, oh sorry. And you're gonna wanna put some wax paper down um, in case you have some over, like if you get a little bit too much and it spills over, you're gonna want something to protect your countertop or table. Yeah, we're messy, so we take caution. Um, so here I have my wax already all melted. Um, for this one on the table, I did tangerine and cypress. I think it smells good together. Um, so we're going to do that one again for this one. Some things that we've tried in the past are Thieves and Stress Away. Um, we've done some with orange. We used some of the diffuser blends to decide um, things that we wanted to try and pick some of those out. Um, and how long did you heat that one? For? I heated it for one minute just until all the wax pieces were melted. I did it for 30 seconds and it wasn't quite long enough. Um, so I, did, I ended up doing it for a full minute. Um, basically, when you add the oils to it, that's what it's going to smell like when it's in the burner because it's warm now and it's going to be warm then. So just add the oil until you like the smell of it and then pour it in the mold. It's pretty simple. Um, I also think it would be really cute to do um, something on top of it. Like, um, I don't know. I said glitter. Mom's not too sure that that wouldn't do something weird. Maybe you'd need to research what glitter releases when it's hot. I don't know. Um, well, with our tangerine, I had some halos, so I thought we could have, zet, you know, washed with the fruit and veggie wash and then zested a little bit and sprinkled on there for something pretty. Mm -hmm. I have uh, lavender in my herb garden. If you did a lavender, you could dry some lavender and put on there just as a little decoration. Even one sprig right across the top dried, even though just for a pretty thing on there. Just to make it a little prettier so it's not just plain white wax um so what i'm going to do is just five drops of tangerine i'm going to do those and i'll do five drops of, of cypress and i'm looking for the hole for those of you that don't know there's a little teeny hole right in there where your drops actually come out not the big hole in the center mm -hmm. you want to stir it and see what you think mm -hmm. It's like I made the last one and thought it smelled good. So, it smells good. so your turn. Okay, so now just honestly what I do is just, well, I'm not super careful with anything, but I try to fill all the, the little wells individually 
and then just take and pour extra and let it run all over the top so that it makes it like the ones you buy where you have to break it. Maybe that one's firm enough. You can see a little bit of the overlay oh. here. It's not quite hard enough. <laughs> I'm overflowing. And there you have it. So these have, I didn't even count, they, they have 15. They have 15 cubes that come in a thing. So that um, one third plus half of a cup works perfect for that. Um, if you have too much, if you melt too much wax, we've done, well, this one was not an accident. We didn't make this much to wax, or we didn't melt this much to wax. But um, this is a candle that we made the same way. And then this is one, a little tiny jar from HelloFresh. They send all of their jellies in little tiny baby jars. And so this was one where we melted a little too much and then melted some extra to go with it to make a little candle here. So these are actually citronella, I think. Um, and you can yeah, get the wood wicks also at Michael's. Like, um, they seem to burn really well. They're easier to use uh, to me than the stream wicks. So, so just really quick and easy. Um, they just have to dry. I did this one right before we started the video, and it's obviously not quite dry yet. But almost. Almost. So they don't take very long. Um, they're really simple. And like we said, it's just it's not ideal. Ideally, people would be using a diffuser, but it's really just a good stepping stone. So. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed this, and happy Merry Christmas, Christmas making.